Hey, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. Today's tutorial is about how I get the birds larger in the frame when I'm out here shooting. I'm at uh, Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge in New Mexico. There's a lot of sandhill cranes and snow geese flying by, so you might hear those occasionally. Well, I've got a 600 millimeter lens and I've got a full frame camera body here. If uh, that's not enough reach, that's quite a bit of reach, but if it's not enough, I'm gonna put on a 1.4 extender. 1.4 extender will make my 600 f4 lens an 840 millimeter f5.6 lens. That will give me a tremendous amount of reach. That's pretty good for reach. 840 millimeters is a lot, especially if you're out here shooting big birds like sandhill cranes that are three or four feet tall. But sometimes you want to get the bird even larger, and if they're close, you can add an extension tube. 25 millimeter extension tube, first take the camera off, add the extension tube to the camera, then add it to the extender and the lens, and that way you still have autofocus. Now, you'll lose a little bit more light, but the bird will be larger. If you're shooting with like a 400 millimeter lens, adding a 1.4 extender and a 25 millimeter extension tube is a pretty inexpensive way so the bird can be larger in the frame. These images of a ring-billed gull were taken at a local park near my home. First image is with the 600 millimeter f4 lens and you can see that there's a lot of room in the frame and the bird could have been you know twice as large easily with being too tight on it. The second image in the center is the 600 millimeter lens with the 1.4 extender on it and you can see that the bird's a pretty good size here. The third image is the 600 millimeter lens, the 1.4 extender and a 25 millimeter extension tube and you can really see now that the 25 millimeter extension tube really makes the bird quite large in the frame. You can't use this all the time because the bird has to be within about 30 feet if you use a 600 millimeter lens. But experiment around with that. These are two really inexpensive ways to get the bird larger in your frame. If you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a like or subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Love to hear from you. See you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.